Hi, I'm Peter Griffin, and I'm here at the Museum of Television and Radio to commemorate Family Guy becoming the longest-running show in television history. For 60 years, Sunday has meant God, football, and Family Guy. And later, to a lesser degree, The Simpsons. Premiering in 1952 as a recurring sketch in the popular Dow Chemical Follies, Family Guy has survived 19 cancellations, two assassination attempts, and a pretty good ribbon by those South Park guys. Well, tonight we take a look back at classic episodes from our first three decades. Oh, here come some tourists. I know, I'll sit here and pretend I'm a wax figure. Who is that? That's the fat idiot from The Family Guy. Ugh, I hate that show. Me too. Raleigh Kids Cigarettes is happy to bring you Family Guy, the story of an American family named the Griffins. This is Peter, breadwinner and head of household. Lois is the name of his wife. These are their children. This is Chris, the firstborn son. This is little Stewie. Oh boy, he's a handful. Meg. And introducing Doodles Weaver as Brian the dog. We don't trust just any cigarette for our children. Raleigh Kids is the only cigarette made for tiny hands. It's why it's the playground favorite. Right, kids? <laughs> <laughs> and now, Raleigh Kids, also the makers of Kinder Coffee, invite you to watch Family Guy. Dad, I overheard the fellas talking. Can I ask you a question about girls? Of course, son. You're a young man now. It's natural to be curious. Thanks, Pop. What's knuckle dunk? Oh, atomic test. Put on your glasses. Never mind what your friend said. If you want to have fun with your girl, try dancing. It's fun and good for your health. Ah, uh, swell. That's helpful. So what's going on if a guy says a girl has a red scare in her Harry Truman? Fence! <laughs> 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 Oh, look, here comes the milkman. So convenient. Good evening, everyone. I'm Tom Tucker, and this is the Radio 5 News. Our top story this evening, songsmith Elvis Presley will be appearing on the Ed Sullivan Show this Sunday night on that never-gonna-last fad called television. And now a word from our sponsor, Fred Trump Apartments. If you don't want to live with blacks, Fred Trump. Wow, Elvis Presley, can we get a television set? Sorry, Chris, we don't got the money. I spent our entire savings building that stupid fallout shelter we never get to use. Why don't you just buy a TV for the weekend, watch Elvis, and then return it on Monday and say it doesn't work? Boy, even in the 50s, you're a scumbag. That's a great idea, boy. But hang on, why don't I just get a job to help pay for it? What? No wife of mine is working. There's underpants in this house that need starching. I don't want to go to work in soft underpants like some Nancy boy. I want to go to work like this. Stiff as a plate. That's underpants. We got some time before Elvis. Can we see what else is on? Sure thing. We now return to 1950s sci-fi, which is always a man in a silver suit battling a monster. Leave us humans alone. It's 1994, and the moon belongs to Earth. Uh, uh. Rawr! <laughs> it's safe now. How's the soil, Professor Knockers? It's good. 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 <laughs> 